How to Break a Bad Habit in Three Easy Steps Building a better you is not just about introducing new positive habits. Just as important is to remove the bad habits that are wasting your time, damaging your health, or losing you money. The only problem is that habits are hard to break. That's why they're habits. The good news is that there are ways you can break bad habits if you know how. In this presentation, we'll look at three simple steps that can help you bust those bad habits for good. 1. Change your environment One of the most important things to do if you want to break a bad habit is to change your environment. That means you should remove yourself from your usual location. The reason is that your environment will be filled with reminders and triggers that will make you more likely to engage in the negative behavior. That is why many people trying to recover from addiction will go into rehab. There, nothing will remind them of their old life and behavior. Of course, you can come back again when you're done. Trying to quit smoking? Wait until you're going on holiday and you will have the best luck. 2. Find new habits One of the very most important things to do if you want to break a bad habit is to replace it with something new. Otherwise, you will still be continuously reaching for that cigarette or looking for that cake. You need a new way to get your dopamine hit. Of course, it's entirely up to you what your new habit should be, but make sure it gives you a similar feeling and that it's something you really want to do, such that the urge is able to win over the habit with a little help from you. 3. Take it day by day Kaizen is the Japanese concept of gradual improvement. This idea applies nicely to kicking habits, because it tells us that instead of trying to go cold turkey on day one, we should instead gradually seek to improve our condition. For instance, then, instead of quitting smoking entirely, you might just smoke one less cigarette daily. Likewise, instead of trying to end procrastination altogether, you might set a timer and try and keep it to no more than 10 minutes. This helps you introduce an easier version of the habit you eventually tend to form, which allows you to lay down and strengthen the neural pathways you are going to need.